हम लोग इंडिया के नॉर्दर्न मोस्ट विलेज तुर्तुक में हैं और इस वक्त हम लोग तुर्तुक हॉलीडे रिजॉर्ट में हैं और यहाँ पे हम लोग कुछ अनोखा करने वाले हैं अनोखा क्या है कि आज के दिन हम लोग यहाँ पे लोकल ट्रेडिशनल डिशेज ट्राई नहीं करेंगे हम कुछ हटके ट्राई करेंगे जैसे कि ब्रेकफास्ट में इंग्लिश ब्रेकफास्ट कर रहे हैं लंच में इटालियन लंच होगा और डिनर में जैपनीज डिनर होगा अब बात करें इंग्लिश ब्रेकफास्ट की तो यहाँ पे क्या सर्व किया गया है तो शुरुआत करते हैं यहाँ से एप्पल तो स्मूदी है जो कि फार्मर्स कैफे तुर्तु खोडे रिजॉर्ट में वहाँ से आया है कॉफ़ी वहीं से आई है ये एग डेविल है चिकन सॉसेजेस हैं बेक बीन्स है चीज़ केक है मफिनस है, हैश ब्राउन है फ्रेश फ्रूट्स हैं एप्पल सम टोस्टेड ब्रेड पैन और साथ में हनी और चॉकलेट सिरप समझ नहीं आ रहा है कहाँ से शुरू करूँ ऑनेस्टली uh, इतना कुछ तो मैं नहीं खा पाऊँगा बट uh, जो मुझे लग रहा है मैं खाना चाहता हूँ उसमें से आई विल टेस्ट वन फ्रेंच टोस्ट क्रिस्प ब्रेड है स्वीट हनी उसके ऊपर में और बहुत ही पतली सी लेयर एग की टुर्तुक हॉलीडे रिजॉर्ट की स्टोरी बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग है जो इसके ओनर हैं उनका नाम मिस्टर राशिद है और राशिद पहले बेंगलोर में उन्होंने पढ़ाई की उसके बाद जापान में नौकरी के लिए गए वहाँ पे उनका कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दो साल का था लेकिन छः महीने में लौट के वापस वो अपने गांव तुर्तुक आ गए और यहाँ के उन्होंने अपना ये काम शुरू किया और अब देखिए मतलब उनका ऑब्जेक्टिव ये है कि कैसे इस ग्लोबल विलेज में जहाँ सब कुछ इंटर है सभी चीज़ें हर जगह मिल जाती हैं तो क्यों ना कुछ अलग हटके सर्व किया जाए तो उन्होंने अपना इटालियन रेस्टोरेंट बेकरी कैफे जापनीज रेस्टोरेंट याकेटोरी ये शुरू किया साथ में यहाँ पे बाल्टी क्वीन भी सर्व होता है ये तो कहानी थी राशिद जी की और भी उनसे हम बातचीत करेंगे वो हमें लंच में ज्वाइन करेंगे इटालियन जो हम लंच करने वाले हैं उसमें ये पूरा अंदर में चॉकलेट है और एक और इंटरेस्टिंग बात है तुर्तुक हॉलीडे रिजॉर्ट में पहले सिर्फ कैंप्स होते थे अब उन्होंने प्रॉपर अपना होटल बनाया है और हम लोग पहले गेस्ट हैं जो यहाँ रुके हैं उनके होटल में मतलब कैंप्स तो पहले से थे तो ये भी एक इनके इतिहास के पन्नों में दर्ज हो जाएगा कि पहला गेस्ट कौन था तो वो अनुभव और राहुल थे मफिन बहुत बड़े हैं बिल्कुल सॉफ्ट बना हुआ है और अच्छा खासा चॉकलेट डाला हुआ है इसमें ये बेस्ट कॉम्बिनेशन है मफिन और कॉफी का ये एप्रिकॉट चीज केक है यहाँ पे इतना लेविश ब्रेकफास्ट स्प्रेड एक्सपीरियंस करके मैं भी अपने आप को एज एन इंस्टाग्राम इन्फ्लुएंसर महसूस कर रहा हूँ कई बार ऐसी पिक्चर्स देखी हैं जब खूब सारा खाना होता है इन्फ्लुएंसर के सामने में और कभी वो अपने बेडरूम में कभी पूल में कभी गार्डन में कभी रेस्टोरेंट में कभी कैफ़े में फ़ोटोज़ क्लिक करवाते हैं इतने खाने के साथ तो वैसे ही आज मैंने भी किया ये भी एक ट्रैवल का एक्सपीरियंस है इतना खूबसूरत जगह पर बैठ के नाश्ता करने का Our last destination in Ladakh. Our, like our Ladakh food trip. Sir. And uh, you're only away a uh, seven kilometer away from the Pakistan-occupied Baltistan. Mm -hmm. So back in 1971, people call it like capture, but we believe that we voluntarily come to India. Mm -hmm. These three, four villages of Pakistan-Baltistan. So ever since we are part of geographically part of Leh Ladakh, mm -hmm. historically we are still believe we are mm -hmm. Baltistani people from the Silk Road. Mm -hmm. I am very curious to know about your journey. Like, I I believe you were in Japan for some time. Yes. So I've completed my studies from Bangalore. Mm -hmm. I stayed in Bangalore for more than eight nine years. 
doing my pre university college and university and what did you study i studied bcom mm -hmm. yes and then i got a jo I was privileged to get a job in japan with asai food and beer my contract with asai was for 2 years but i got back within 6 month mm -hmm. you know so my cousin mr atallah who started this with a very small establishment called the turtuk holiday resort we used to have three four cottages and then i joined in late 2016 mm -hmm. how has it been it has been a journey <laughs> a long journey you know doing something at the last village of india where the nearest market is 200 km mm -hmm. even for a lemon in anil mm -hmm. you know the agriculture season is very short in the dark time it can go for like july august and september mm -hmm. these are the only month we can grow our own vegetable what i heard to took has a good um, like agriculture season this, you this have two seasons right yes mm -hmm. for crops mm -hmm. you know being the lowest altitude in the entire ladakh mm -hmm. tutu is able to grow like two crops a year mm -hmm. wheat barley and then after harvesting of wheat and barley we grow buckwheat mm -hmm. so turtuk uh, the baltistani cuisine is based on flour and herbs sweet sour mm -hmm. and mostly the main dishes are cuisines are vegetarian mm -hmm. very surprisingly mm -hmm. even like being a 100% muslim majority mm -hmm. population which is which goes like 1.5 million the entire baltistani culture and what made you start this cafe the farmers cafe the farmers cafe you know i believe the balti are the most expert you know in terms of their agriculture technique and skill right mm -hmm. and my grandfather even my father my everyone they have been a great farmer mm -hmm. throughout even now my mom grows her own vegetables and everything so i wanted to dedicate something which can offer a very contemporary food mm -hmm. at the same time stick to it own root when it comes to everything you know how we source ingredient mm -hmm. you know how on how on a present this cafe so that's how i started this farmers house last year mm -hmm. so you now every corner you'll see a little bit of pieces of history here mm -hmm. from the agriculture tool mm -hmm. to all the lemon shades in the wall mm -hmm. and this cafe was made by a lot of skill men from stone mason to the uh, wood mm, carpenter mm -hmm. from local you know mason who do, does all this plaster mm -hmm. so this cafe is made by the people of turtu mm -hmm. you know for the rest of the world अभी हम लोग इटालियन लंच कर रहे हैं यस एट द तुर्तुक में तुर्तुक में यस सो व्हाई इटालियन फूड इन तुर्तुक वेल आई बिलीव दैट यू नो व्हेन यू ओपन समथिंग रिलेटेड टू हॉस्पिटैलिटी बिजनेस यू डोंट हैव एनी एक्सक्यूज कि यू आर इन दिल्ली और यू आर इन तुर्तुक यू नो द गेस्ट आर डिजर्व टू हैव व्हाटएवर दे पे फॉर सो एवरीथिंग इज चैलेंजिंग हियर you know getting a basil seed from delhi mm -hmm. to getting a lemon from the near of market which is lay mm -hmm. so i believe there's no excuse in mehwan nawazi this mm -hmm. is okay these are the balti basil it's nice and like, again i i said um, mentioned earlier being the lowest altitude mm -hmm. turtuk is able to grow almost every varieties of mm -hmm. vegetable from zucchini to broccoli cherry tomato mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. sweet tangy <laughs> thick creamy mm. and nice flavor of pepper mm, yes <laughs> and this is to aapko kaisa lagta hai aap kitne samay bahar rahe aur phir wapas aake apne gaon mein aake base yeah what is new for new for me is the tourism you know mm -hmm. i grew up here uh, nothing changed but then after the tourism definitely it has boosted uh, the livelihood in turtuk mm -hmm. you 
you know, and tourism is a very new source of livelihood. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy people are responding well. Mm -hmm. you know. So, first, I mean, tourism is one thing. What the main source of uh, income were uh, the army. Army were the main source of income. Mm -hmm. Army were the main livelihood, I would say. And Turtuk has been, the so, entire Baltistan so the has... the locals were joining armed forces? That's what you meant to say? Armed forces as well as, uh, you know, they work for army. Okay. Carrying their goods from one place to another place on a daily wages. Okay. And Turtuk has always been very self-sufficient mm -hmm. when it comes to the food and, you know. So... Agriculture is also one of the main source of mm -hmm. livelihood. So, let me tell you what we have on our table. Pe. So, it starts with the buckwheat pizza. Mm -hmm. And we have some macaroni with basil and cherry tomato. And some spaghetti, olive oil, some lasagna and some roasted Potato. Is it like non vegetarian? Ah, this is non vegetarian. Yes. Chicken? Chicken, yes. So, I would like to start with buckwheat pizza. Please. And buckwheat is very popular in this region. Yes, buckwheat is very popular as well as it's one of the rarest flour in the world, as you know. Mm -hmm. So, the base Only of this pizza is made up of buckwheat flour? Buckwheat flour, yes. Mm -hmm. It's a thin crust mm -hmm. buckwheat pizza. And then you have. Uh, we have tomato, tomatoes, some vegetables. Baki jo is my topping hai, except the cheese, I believe. Everything Even the is cheese is cheese? Uh, local yeah. cheese. Yeah. Okay. It's called the yak cheese. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's a nice grainy texture. So, Baki jo is my kuch aur milate hai bhi. Only Baki jo. Yes. Bahut hi umda hai. I mean, if buckwheat, the pet is heavy. Mm -hmm. Buckwheat is both heavy. Mm -hmm. pet ke so, we have a tourism season. It's not a round year. So, when the off season starts, where do the staff go? Do they go back to their own? They go back to their own. Some other places go काम करने जाते हैं जैसे कि गोवा हो या अच्छा। अलग जैसे विंटर में जिनका सीजन रहता है साउथ इंडिया हो और सीजन में ये लोग इधर आते हैं कब तक रहता है सीजन यहाँ पे फ्रॉम मार्च टू अक्टूबर अगेन फार्म टू टेबल मोस्ट ऑफ द वेजिटेबल वी प्लक ऑन द सेम डे बहुत बढ़िया है बटरी हल्का सा चार्ट किया गया है बहुत बढ़िया मैंने दिल्ली में सिर्फ हम लोग एक जगह थी पहाड़गंज में सैम्स कैफे जी पहाड़गंज में कॉलेज डेज में वहाँ जाते थे लजानिया खाने के लिए और कहीं जल्दी मिलता नहीं था जी जी I think it's all about the fresh ingredients which you use. Yeah. That adds to the flavor. Mm. How often do you eat in your own restaurant? Mm. Uh, very rare, I guess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So it's a lavender cake. You can see lavender Welcome. Cake. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. Yeah. Well, welcome. This is a memory that will always remember. Huh? <laughs> Thank you. In house, yes. Oh, man, look at fresh cream. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't have any. Oh, 
मतलब शुरू तो बाद में करेंगे लेकिन सेटअप बहुत ही सुंदर है तो याकी तोरी कब शुरू किया आपने सो याकी तोरी आई स्टार्ट इन 2018 थाउजेंड एटीन बिफोर कोविड याकी तोरी मीन्स ग्रिल्स टी वी इन इन बैक इन जापान इट्स अ जापनीज ग्रिल कॉल इट याकी तोरी सो आई टू गो एट इवनिंग टू दिस लाइक स्मॉल स्टोल बैक इन जापान इन आई रियली लाइक द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द फूड जापनीज फूड राइट in uh, and then when i got back to turtu i want to start something with japanese but i didn't know mm-hmm. something uh, you know related to their culture so since i was in hospitality business mm-hmm. i opened this restaurant with the help of uh, chef uh, prem gong mm-hmm. I opened this restaurant, Yakitori. I was talking to him. Like yeah. he worked in Malaysia for ten yes, years. Yes, he worked in Malaysia. He worked with the Sushi Bar, uh-huh. one of uh, the top sushi uh, franchisee, I would say, mm-hmm. in South Asia. These are some signature, authentic Japanese maki. Mm-hmm. We don't call sushi in Japan. Right? We call it maki. Kappa maki, ure maki, oshigo maki. so these are the avocado mm-hmm. maki and we have the kappa maki oshigo maki these are the bento box mm-hmm. you know just like thali back in japan and these are the salad wakame salad chicken katsu and this one is the katsu the chicken katsu oh. with the uh, some japanese rice and some japanese curry with fried chicken mm-hmm. what all you have in the bento box uh we have uh, the fried rice salad and uh, the tempura and some sushi in it mm-hmm. uh, maki maki yes <laughs> <laughs> and this is miso soup by the way with some beans tofu and some seaweed okay. you ingredients ye sab kahan se source kar sakte hain kahan se source karte hain jaise mainly from wa- delhi the okay. salmon tuna are from lakshadweep yes we get it through delhi with dry ice it's not very fresh mm-hmm. but uh, we try to make it you know we try to get it like as fresh as possible with dry ice mm-hmm. so this is one of a grill japanese grill mm-hmm. it's called the tepen chicken tepen yes of the japanese food I would say it's very popular in metro cities. It is. Yeah. You don't dip the sushi into soy sauce. That's right. Right. The so uh, the right way to eat a sushi, take a bit of wasabi and take your sushi. Look, to hamesha soy sauce mein dip karke khate hain. You know the right way to have sushi. Ha. Huh? Yes, sir. Uh, not to dip the sushi uh-huh. you take the sushi uh, the maki in your hand uh-huh. and put a little bit of uh, soy sauce uh-huh. and then uh. tapan tapan chicken mm वो गार्लिक एंड स्वीट या और जापानीज जो फूड है वो तीन चीजों पे निर्भर है सी फूड राइस और नूडल यू नो एंड राइस तो ऑलमोस्ट इट्स वाइडली यूज इन ऑलमोस्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द सिग्नेचर डिशेस ठीक है 
So prawns. This, these are the prawns. Th these are called tempura. Just a fresh prawn taste करता है वैसे ही. It's sweet. Huh? Nice. ये कौन से बैटर लगा के इसको फिर फ्राई किया था? Ah, there are some flour, tempura mm. flour, mm -hmm. and bread crumb, and fried in olive oil. Mm. Oh. A soft, sweet, crispy. Huh. And where did you get a chef? Chef, uh, it's a very funny story how I met the chef. Mm -hmm. So I was in Turtu back in 2018 mm -hmm. and I heard from someone there's a guy who's working in the army and he's no, he knows uh, how to cook Japanese food. Mm. And I went all the way to Hundar near the army camp and that's when I met him. And he, said, yeah, and then he said, no, I'm here with the army contract. Mm -hmm. uh, all the borders are closed and I couldn't go back to Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And I asked him how about we start a restaurant in Turtu and he laughed. Mm -hmm. It's not possible. Because then I said, yes, I know. They are, they are going to be challenging. It's going to be challenging. And he said, it's impossible mm -hmm. that you cannot start a restaurant at the last village of India without, doing, without the without ingredient and everything. Then I said, we can work out. Mm. And then this year we started to make a list. <coughs> and yeah, within one, two years, it took like almost six months to set up to source the right ingredient because the chef is very particular about what he use, mm -hmm. how he use. This is Balti Kitchen. Kitchen, sir. So, what are you making in Balti Kitchen? Yes, I'm making roti, sir. Roti? So, it's called Praku. Praku is an occasional food that is served in the marriage of the marriage. So, you can put it in a bowl and put it in a bowl. What's the name of it? Chana Papa. Chana Papa? Yeah. The name is so musical. Chana Papa. And my childhood is very connected to this dish. Yes. Hmm. Wow, chicken is first class. It's cut. One bite is different. Hmm. 